Cow's urine? Hey, like that. Uh, cow's cholesterol has come as immunosuppressed immuse drug. And one tablet is $10. So he says, yeah, it's good. It's very good because it's come from America. Our slavish mentality is you want an American stamp for everything or a British stamp. Anything Indian? She. <laughs> if you want honor, don't go to the police. If you want justice, don't go to the court. But if you are not well, go and see a doctor. Even if it is a headache, see a doctor. Not necessarily that you should take his medicine, but see a doctor, find out what it is, and discuss with him. Be a partner in your treatment. And if somebody hits you, then go to the police and say, hit me, you know, just protect me. And if somebody has done injustice, you could go to the court. But going to a doctor when you are healthy is the most dangerous thing that you can do. Is an article in the British Medical Journal. I have written it earlier, but British Medical Journal writes that. Read that. So I always tell people, don't go to see a doctor when you are well. Then they say, how do I know I am well? Ayurveda says so beautifully. Samadhatuhu, samagnischa, samadoshaha, malakriha, prasannatma indriya manaha svasta itya vidyate. You shit well, you eat well, you piss well, you sleep well, and you, you have enthusiasm to work, and you don't hate nobody, you are healthy. So in the morning you get up and say, do I want to go to the department today? If the answer is yes, you are healthy. Then in the review, see, do I have to do help others in the department? If the answer is yes, you are terribly healthy. <laughs> that is very interesting. Oh, okay, okay, I will come back. Human metagenome. NIH has been working on metagenome for the last 10 years without telling anybody. They didn't tell our geneticists here. They quietly worked because they said, we will get the metagenome first and teach all these slaves. We make money and teach them. But unfortunately, they found $100 million, 10 years of work, the whole of NIH, which is called the palace, they got only 10 genes. So they said, no. If the whole world's laboratories work on genetics only, 24 hours of the day, for the next 100 years, we will probably not be able to unravel the metagenome. Because 3 trillion, 3 trillion, not 1 or million or billion, genes are there in your gene. So for every nine cell, one cell in your body, Nine cells are germs. So germs are us. Toys are us, you have seen the shop. Germs are us. And you see, you read my article in the BMJ, germs are us. Now we are germs. So you can't be proud. I am so and so. No. You can't even lift his finger without the permission of the E. coli or somebody. And the latest treatment for dying patients, the infections, no antibiotic cures. Do you know the latest treatment? Good human feces, healthy human feces, 250 cc, emulsified, put in a rails tube in, four hours later the patient will go home. Americans call it as fecal transplant. So you accept it. Oh, yes, yes, fecal transplant. I'm accepting it. If I told you, now I was, I was watching your faces, you're making some grimacing face. <laughs> like that. When I said fecal transplant, everybody is bright. <laughs> because Johns Hopkins, it comes from Johns Hopkins. Barbara Starfield has done that and saved a lot of patients with difficile infection, Clostridium difficile. A silly germ kills people in the intensive care unit. So now it has become an accepted fact. Murarji, they said, drinks urine. He said, ah. But when it comes from the West, auto urine therapy is very good because it improves your immune system. You read that paper in the PubMed and say, ah, ah, that's right. <laughs> See? Cow's urine, he said, hey, like that. Uh, cow's cholesterol has come as immunosuppressed immuse drug, and one tablet is $10. So he said, yeah, it's good. It's very good, because it's come from America. Our slavish mentality is, you want an American stamp for everything, or a British stamp. Anything Indian, she. <laughs> 